Today is Super Tuesday. 15 states are heading to the polls, including Colorado and Maine, which put former President Donald Trump back on the ballot after yesterday's Supreme Court ruling. On the Democratic side, President Biden faces two long shot challengers. To explain more about the importance of today's election, CBS News correspondent Skylar Henry joining us live from Virginia, where voting is now underway. Skylar, thanks for joining us this morning. I want to jump right in. What state should we be watching today the most? It's a very good question, Tim and Janet. Good morning to the both of you. I think Minnesota absolutely will be a state to watch. Obviously, that is widely considered to be one of the core battleground areas, generally speaking. But more specifically, when you pay attention to some of the rhetoric surrounding President Biden and his support for the uh, Israel or for Israel in this war against uh, Hamas in Gaza. For weeks now, if not months, we have heard from several Arab and Muslim American communities who have expressed their displeasure at the president over his stance. Uh, and in recent primaries, if you look at Michigan just last week, more than 100,000 voters uh, put down on their ballot uncommitted in protest uh, to President Biden. We know that there are several options in several states, Minnesota being one of them, uh, to do just that. We'll see how that impacts the campaign moving forward, so much so that we've actually heard from Vice President Kamala Harris, as well as other members of the Biden administration who have actually ramped up their rhetoric surrounding more humanitarian assistance into Gaza to help all of those who may be struggling or may be impacted because of uh, that war there. So Minnesota is absolutely a state to watch out for. Obviously, Virginia here can sometimes be considered a toss up as well. Uh, and I think on a much more broader scope based off of certain races, I think this is ultimately the time to see what will happen moving forward with former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. Will she be able to stay in this race after what the results we see tonight? And that ultimately is because she hasn't really been able to make much of a dent so much uh, so far in this race. And so I think she's been trying to fine tune her message, uh, presenting herself as an alternative to the former president, going on rallies saying that do you want more of the same or do you want something different? Obviously, she has different perspectives as it relates to her foreign aid perspective as well as reproductive rights and, of course, what's happening at the U.S.-Mexico border. So a lot of different things that we're paying attention to. But again, uh, this is still very much a long contest. Obviously, this is just another part of it. We'll see what happens tonight. Just going back with what you were saying about Nikki Haley with to, with so much at stake today, if she suffers major losses, is it possible that she drops out of the race? Could be. Um, on one hand, you got to take a look at some of those campaign dollars that will be uh, starting to drop after, you know, a low performance. She needs to have anywhere from a 20, 25 percent performance in a lot of these swing states in order to consider herself to still be a, 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 a strong campaign, if you will, if you can even call it that. On the other hand, there is the, you know, the perspective that the former president is still dealing with quite uh, considerable legal challenges ahead of him. Yes, he won that Supreme Court uh, ruling yesterday, that decision yesterday, but the high court still has another decision uh, to consider as it relates to the former president, especially considering uh, what happens in terms of criminal charges surrounding a president. They will be hearing that case later in April. So if the former president finds himself in any sort of legal trouble in terms of like a conviction or something like that, then you run into this gray area where you don't know what to do as far as a representative uh, from the GOP. So the former U.N. ambassador could very well try to stick around because of that. But that is very much on the optimistic side. It is, you know, a make or break situation for her at this moment. We'll see what happens. She has to have a strong showing. We'll see what happens tonight. Henry reporting and don't forget to stick with CBS tonight. Nora O'Donnell will have special coverage tonight as America decides what happens on this Super Tuesday.